Welcome back to this series of conversations from Light Reading with Leaders in Cloud. Terry Sweeney here with Light Reading, and joining me now is Beth Cohen, Software Defined Network Product Strategist with Verizon. Beth, thanks for joining us for this. Yeah, oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> Looking forward to the conversation. <laughs> um, let's let's start with some talk about open source. Um, what what are you doing with open source specifically, and talk a bit about why open source is important to the industry. Uh, so I feel open source is extremely important. I've been involved with the open source community, thinking coming on like ten years, and uh, I'm very active in two 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 and a half communities right now. I mean, I do have a I do have a uh, real job as well, of course, um, and uh, one of them is the Open Infra Foundation, which is uh, the uh, group that uh, supports Open Stack. And uh, I've been involved in that community for, I think, coming up about 10 years. And uh, specifically right now, I've been focused on the edge um, and developing, you know, working uh, with the edge use cases um, with the uh, edge working group. I'm uh, one of the co-founders of the edge working group, and we've, we've published a number of white papers and are sort of working on, you know, what's involved in uh, edge as it relates to cloud. Um, and, you know, there's some pretty naughty problems related to edge. So it's, it's quite an interesting uh, topic. And of course, it's very of great interest to any telco because telcos live at the edge. Um, the other project that I'm, uh, I'm currently the co-chair of the uh, technical steering committee is the Anakit project uh, under the uh, LF networking umbrella. Um, and that's a group that um, I am actually one of the co-founders. Um, and we are focused on infrastructure, designing uh, the architecture and the reference models for infrastructure to specifically support um, the uh, cloud native telco workloads. Okay. So. So say a bit more about that. What is, what is um, or, or why is Aniket important? Um, to telcos and the, the cloud native workloads that it handles. Uh, so Anakit, I'll look. I'll go back to the founding of Anakit. Um, uh, there's been a lot of work on cloud native workloads and you know VM moving telco type workloads from uh, tr the traditional appliance based uh, uh, services onto virtual machines or VMs. Um, and then onto uh, container-based um, or Kubernetes-based um, uh, environments. And uh, there's been a lot of work on um, doing that, but there wasn't really a, a standard infrastructure to support those workloads. There was also a lot of work with ONAP in creating the tools and the management tools to support them, but there was clearly a gap. And uh, so Anakit came about to address that gap. And we've been uh, working on it. Um, we've published um, reference. We have a reference model, two reference architectures, one VM-based, one Kubernetes-based or containers-based. Um, and then we have also recently launched the Anakit Assured program, uh, which is a badging program that um, companies can uh, validate that their um, infrastructure does in fact meet the reference architecture um, models, um, which, uh, you know, the benefit to the telco community, of course, is that, uh, you know, with any telco workload, there's a huge amount of um, infra, um, huge amount of testing that's needed and development efforts uh, you know, by the vendors and um, by using this reference model and reference architectures, um, you can cut the amount of testing that's needed, um, you know, with this badge. You can say, well, we've already done, you know, X amount of, of sure. testing. <laughs> um, and that applies to the vendors as well as the, as the telcos themselves. So across the industry. <laughs> right. Let's shift gears slightly and talk a bit about uh, software-defined networking. Um, what's happening with SDN and how is SDN helping uh, companies connect with their cloud resources? Uh, so SDN has been you know, a long time coming. Uh, I've been involved in it for a few years, but uh, 
the, the telcos have really embraced it over, I'd say, the last five years or so, um, as well as our customers have. And there's a number of reasons for that. Um, software-defined networking, uh, it has, it, you know, it disaggregates the hardware from the software, which means that uh, you can be a lot more nimble and agile, uh, cloud-like, let's say, um, with your networking uh, delivery. Um, but it also allows companies to connect to their applications that are sitting in clouds, uh, you know, in public clouds or private clouds, wherever. Um, and increasingly, we're seeing um, our customers uh, put their, their applications not only in a single cloud, they'll put it in multiple clouds. So the multi, multi-cloud, hybrid cloud architectures really demand a, a way of connecting them you know, if you go to AWS, they're not going to say, oh, this is how to connect to Microsoft Azure. Uh, sure. um, but the net, you know, the telcos and, you know, and Verizon has mechanisms that allow companies to do that in a private and secure way. Great. Um, Beth, let's close out by talking a bit about the technologies that you see out on the horizon that'll make cloud networking safer, more secure, faster, better, those kinds of things? Um, so a number, of, a number of trends are going on. Of course, uh, software-defined uh, WAN or, or SD-WAN has been around for a number of years, and we're seeing more and more of our customers uh, migrate from their traditional router um, of footprints into SD-WAN. But um, you know, SD-WAN is just sort of the beginning um, because that really addresses um, you know, it, it addresses some of the security issues, but I think SASE, which is um, allows you to bring in additional security components into your architecture and your network, um, is you know that convergence really needs to happen uh, to again secure those cloud environments and and of course out to the edge as well. So it it, it really covers both, um, and I and I, I see shifts in organizations as well happening. Um, and of course, um, I am really excited about some of the intelligent networking, AI, machine learning kinds of things that are going on as well. So, um, you know, more to come. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lots of good stuff on the horizon. Well, Beth, we appreciate you talking with us on this light reading conversation on Leaders in Cloud. Thanks so much for joining us today. It was a pleasure. We've been talking with Beth Cohen from Verizon. This has been Terry Sweeney for Light Reading. Thanks for joining us for this series of conversations on leaders in cloud. We'll see you next time.